sponsored MBA student. You know, DRB student loans, 1.9% low APR. DRB student loans for life, man. Corporate swag. Over it. Yeah, well, I mean, so we You know how awful it is. Sorry, you overheard me talking about your car. This guy invited himself. I didn't want him here. Fine. Fine. Oh, hey, Amy. Sorry we're late. <laughs> we wrote our fixies here from Wicker Park. This is my lover, Ilana. She's an artist I met at a gallery opening at the Intelligentsia on Milwaukee. Hi. Please don't refer to me as Harold's girlfriend. We refuse to cater to gender normative naming conventions when it comes to what we want to do with our bodies. Okay. We were just about to take a shot of Fireball, do you guys want to join us? Whoa, Fireball? This is a 2014 theme party? I wish you would have told me. <laughs> I would have worn my Taylor Swift t-shirt. I got it when I pre-ordered her album. To be ironic. <laughs> nope, not a theme party, we just like Fireball. We don't drink Fireball since we learned it was made by a big corporation in Vats. We are really into this matzo-flavored whiskey. It's made by Jewish nuns in the wilds of Canada. Did you say Jewish nuns? I didn't know it was possible. Look it up, bro. You should really try to be more tolerant of other religions. Thanks. Guys, did you see what Leo just posted to Groomy? It's fucking hilarious. Whoa, Groomy, do people still do that? Over it. I thought everyone was on Ski Horse now. What's that? It's a Scandinavian messaging app. It only sends emojis. Characters are so over. <laughs> Great. I like your hat. Thanks, it's from Harold's startup. Oh yeah, I'm a startup? Yeah, we just finished our Series A. Peter Thiel, wait. You know Peter Thiel, right? Yeah, he's the guy who started PayPal. Actually, his work in the field of anti-aging research is far more important. <laughs> anyway, Pete says my idea is going to revolutionize American manufacturing. Really? What's your startup? Well, we employ homeless people to hand macrame hats and scarves in exchange to get a sandwich and a bed. <laughs> it's like a for-profit, but a non-profit. Yeah, for every hat or scarf that they knit, they get to work their way towards a sandwich from this artisanal sandwich shop in Wicker that cures its own rabbit pastrami. We also make sure the bedding is 100% hypoallergenic and made from hemp. It's like socially responsible capitalism. This sounds like a workhouse to me, like out of a Dickens novel. Dickens? Ugh. So over it. The Turin era is so overrated. I can't take this. Anymore. Let's just go to TNDC. Let's get out of here. TNDC, do people still do that? We're going to a midnight screening of the cabinet of Dr. Caligari in an abandoned swimming pool in Gary, Indiana. She's the leading grunge rock ukulele artist. Oh my god, it's gonna be amazing. We'd invite you, but you have to know someone, so not again. Thank <laughs> you.